He's running for Congress in Delaware, and he's a Republican. He knows he's got a tough road ahead. Our conversation with Hans Regal. This is The Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. Welcome to The Delaware Way. We are going to have some contested elections in Delaware for the first time in a long time. Here is one of the candidates, Hans Regal, who is running for Congress for a seat that is going to be vacated by John Carney because he's running for governor. This is the way it always happens in Delaware. That's People right. just keep switching jobs. Uh, but there's going to be at least three. There might be four Democrats running. True. There'll be two Republicans running. And so we've got some primaries coming up. That's true. But you have your work cut out for you as a Republican in this state. I sure do, Larry, and I'm running, you know, I think Delaware needs new leadership. I think it's time for a change, and I've been campaigning all summer and have been hearing lots of complaints. I'm going to have my work cut out for me, but I've been traveling the state from Delaware City. I was in Bethany Beach last night, and I've been traveling the state up and down for about six months now. Uh, Ken Simpler showed that a Republican can win yes. in a statewide election. Did you learn anything from that Republican who won? I sure did. I uh, actually helped him significantly in Kent County, which is my home base, and he gave us hope, yes. The, the, the problem you were going to have, and I don't mean to put it as a problem, sure. is that you are going to be running at during a presidential race right. and and that will stimulate more vote and it would necessarily you would think in Delaware stimulate more Democratic vote. This is true. Uh, the first time Obama ran in 2008 he had about 68 percent of the vote. The second time he ran the presidential there was about 65 percent turnout. So yes the presidential years have a lot higher turnout but there are this is a grassroots campaign if I do well down south in Kent and Sussex and then do okay up north, I should be fine. And a lot depends on who the Republican nominee is for president. It does. I do want to talk to you about that sure. in, in a moment, but, but let's stay in, in Delaware for one moment. Because when you entered the race, there really didn't seem like there was going to be a whole lot of hope. I know you would disagree with me, but you at that point you had Bo Biden who was going to run for governor and right. seemed like he was going to win easily. Yes. Uh, and then we had the tragedy of Bo Biden passing away. And that, now all of a sudden you have an open seat. You, you don't have to run against an incumbent and there's going to be a primary on the other side, which is also surprising in this state. They're going to beat each other up. Uh, each other up a little bit. So I talked about the negative of being a presidential election, but the positive is you're not running against an incumbent and you're running against somebody that has to come out of a primary. Right, and that's true. And I, you know, I was very sad about Bo Biden passing. He was an outstanding politician and a, I actually know him personally. He was a great guy. So that being said, yes, when I entered the race, it, Carney was still in for a U.S. rep and it looked like Bo Biden was going to be the next gubernatorial candidate. So the odds were stacked against me. Well, when the seat opened up, that certainly helped me and also energized my campaign. And also, to be honest with uh, Joe Biden, vice president not running, that has also been helpful, I think, for my campaign. Oh, sure, because it's gonna, the, the vote would be much higher had Joe Biden run, and the Democratic vote would be much higher in the state of Delaware. So Correct. things are starting to line up a little bit for you. Correct, and that's okay with me if there's a big Democratic primary. I would imagine a Republican running in Delaware, the Second Amendment is important to you. It is. And so you would fight against any, how about universal background checks? Sure, well I think there are enough rules in Delaware. So there are plenty of rules in Delaware. I certainly wouldn't be in favor of any laws that were strengthened in Delaware. But you would be in U.S. Congress. I would. You wouldn't so be talking I would, about Delaware. Sure. Anymore. I would take a look at whatever legislation comes down the pike. I mean, I've always been in positions of responsibility and trust throughout my 20 years of military service and also the mayor of Wyoming. So I would take a look at that legislation. But I think we have to be really careful when we add laws to things that are written in the Constitution. So the Second Amendment is very clear about the citizens' right to bear arms, so I would be very cautious uh, when looking at that kind of legislation. But we already have some controls. We do. We, we do, and you have laws that you talked about. We you do. Can't, you can't go there out and buy There already are federal background checks, and I think one of the biggest problems is we need to take a look at our mental health care system, and I think that may be the way to address it. I mean, there are 
obviously have been problems. When there's legal gun owners and there's people that have never had any indications of mental illness that are doing bad things, you know, they would have gotten through a background check as well. But when we have people who are mentally unstable that aren't getting the health care they need, that's a problem. And I think we should approach it like that. Are, are you a member of the NRA? I am. And do you expect to get support from the NRA? I would expect to, but I haven't directly been in any kind of contact with them. And I've been an on and off member over the years. And I'm pretty sure my membership is still current, yes. Many Republicans have been criticized by Republicans mm -hmm. because they get elected, yes. they claim they're going to do one thing, and then they don't. Right. Uh, there was many promises in the last election from congressional candidates who got elected on these promises that they were going to defund Obamacare. Right. They were, they were going to defund Planned Parenthood. They were going right. to bring down the budget, and yet they got in, and none of those things happened. Right, and that is one of my primary focuses. I mean, our national debt is $18 trillion. To me, that's simply immoral. That means my three kids, all of us in this room, we each owe about $57,000 in national debt. So I'm going to make that one of my primary focuses. Also, uh, jobs, education, wasteful spending, security, those are important things to me. But I have to say also, my career has been as a pilot mainly, military pilot and also an airline captain. And sometimes you get on a flight path and if the weather in Detroit's socked in, you just can't land in Detroit now. So I hope to apply that kind of judgment to the decisions I make. We've got one party rule in our state from top to bottom. Governors, federal delegation, our state house and our state senate. Not everyone agrees with all of those folks, and I intend to represent who the, the underrepresented folk, people in Delaware. So I think establishing a little balance would be good. When and you say balance, does that mean, because not a lot of people are running on this, by the way, uh, does that mean you're going to work with Democrats, that there's going to be compromise? Absolutely, yes. And when I look at the voting records of my opponents, there are some things that I agree on. When I listen to the presidential debates, I agree with 80% or so, roughly, of what the Republicans say. But I agree with some things that the Democrats say, too. And Ronald Reagan was my personal inspiration. I actually skipped uh, a day of school, watched him get inaugurated in D.C., and that was great. Great leader, great leadership, and I can tell you more about that special day in my life. But he was willing to compromise with the other side. And also, I would be one of the only Republicans statewide elected in Delaware, so obviously I would have to work with Democrats Real a quickly, lot. Real quickly, Paul Ryan, good Speaker of the House? Yes. You support him? I would, yes, if I was there. You're also going to have to deal not just with Delaware and not just with budgets, but foreign policy as well. Yes. I'm going to throw a couple foreign policy questions at sure. you when we come right back with Hans Riegel, Republican congressional candidate in Delaware. We'll be right back.